Hello, it's Roy for CreativeCow.net and I'm going to show you how to create that stunning text effect which I used in the intro of my video. Um, it's a mixture of uh, light rays and um, a new blue effect. Um, if you don't have new blue, you just can go uh, and download a demo version on newblueeffects.com, I think. Yeah, I think that's the website. So go ahead and start off with a new template. We're going to make this in HD 1080 by 50 i We click OK and we're going to insert a new video track. We're going to insert a new text media. Tell whatever you want. Um, I use SF Movie Poster here, unbold it and made about 48, yeah that's right size. Okay wh wh what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to video effects, we're gonna choose rays, uh, and I think this only can be used in Sony Vegas Pro 9.0 because uh, I work with, I worked with um, 7.0 and 8.0 and I don't think there were any rays except for the normal standard light rays but this is very cool. I'm going to choose alpha I'm going to insert that and let's see we change the exposition to 0 and we change the y to 50. Change the amount Mm, about four. Uh, threshold will be zero. Aspect. Mm, mm, around one. The boost. We boost it all up. Um, the U. I'm gonna set to a. Uh, a kind of orange, orange red color. You sweep well. You can change it to one eight, one nine, something near that. Just fool around with it a bit, and you will succeed. Uh, saturation stays that way in the quality one hundred percent. So when we've done that, we go to Explorer, and we're gonna choose the uh well we we are we are gonna be using three um sound effects will be kilohertz reverse and train so I think we first start off with the train you can download it in the description there's a link to uh the page let's preview this preview this. Sorry. This this looks okay and this sounds okay to me. I'm gonna choose reverse. Reverse reverse. Where are you? Oh here. And you will see that the sound effects is in two parts. We have the reverse and another pulse or something at the end and uh, we don't want to want to pulse so we're gonna cut it right off there um, let's size it up so we have the train and then the reverse and we're gonna insert kilohertz it's very loud so you wanna uh, reduce the volume it just goes right after and make it fade out so this is that is nice and smoothly now we're gonna go further to the rays go to your fan effects I'm gonna go to uh, when the reverse starts just mm, a few frames before that we're gonna 
hit a keyframe. I'm going to set this to X will be 50. And the amounts will be nothing. So what do we have now? We have this effect. And I want to um, break feet now. To have the light rays start again on the beginning of the reverse sound effect and then when it comes here the, the big flash kind of thing. So it starts here. So we're gonna set a keyframe and it ends here before the big flash. I'm gonna just put the amount up just a little bit around two or three. And then the flash will happen at the very end. So we're gonna boost the amount and we're gonna boost the boost, which has already been done. Let's see. Okay, maybe aspect. Mwah. This looks okay to me. Let's see. That looks wonderful. And if you have um, new blue effects, if you don't have it, I already said you can download a free demo at our website. But if you have it, you go to new blue. And you're gonna go to film camera. I'm gonna go to train ride, and it starts here. I don't want to have flicker, and I don't want to have the flicker rate on. And I want it to end on on right after the light rays are gone for just a moment. So I'm gonna set a keyframe, I'm gonna set the Y jitter and the X jitter to zero. So that way we create this effect. All we need to do now is just make a little fitting and a little fade out and we're done so that's my tutorial and I will post a new tutorial every um, Friday or Saturday I I am not exactly sure what works gonna have for me but I think every Saturday and I hope you liked it and I'll see you around on creativecow.net.